Hi students. We'll wait for uh, two more minutes um, because it is just now started. It is uh, now six two, so that we'll just wait for uh, two more minutes. Uh, students are uh, joining, so that then we will start. Today we'll discuss about um, all the constants. other uh, tokens in c as well as some operators we will discuss today okay sushma good evening sushma hi usha good evening if any of your friends are there like from diploma or uh, whoever joining mm -hmm. the new courses we can uh, inform to all the people because um, now it is um, uh, free to everyone so it is just they need to spend time and they can learn and they can refresh all those things before joining the courses so you are from various colleges so that you can uh, uh, spread Uh, the links to your all your friends and they can ask them to join and whoever missed the previous classes also anyway videos are available you can uh, see that somebody asked like uh, uh, can we download yes you can download but it is one hour uh, session so that it will be having very uh, large data so maybe you are and maybe most of you are attending in phones or something so it will take much uh, thing so whenever you require you just click and uh, you can watch the video and uh, you can uh, get the information or you can refresh uh, the topics just what once it is 65 then sharply we will start it is 64 and uh, within one minute we will start Hi Nag Lakshmi, good evening. you can ask your friends to join um, they mean your free time also you can pass this this kind of uh, remi lectures you can they you can ask them to subscribe every day 6 to 7 session will be there so that um, you know, they can learn a uh, programming concepts i and thought i thought of uh, after completing this uh, good evening ajay um, after completion of um, Uh, see, I thought of uh, discussing data structures as well as uh, Python also as a crash thing, crash course. Um, I want to discuss those things also, and um, a very good programs we are going to write ahead. Yesterday we have discussed about um, uh, identifiers. What are tokens? Any small part. Uh, which is included in the c language mm, any small word um, which is used to understand the code is called as a token and various tokens we have seen i'll show you the previous class the notes also for you so see here so yesterday we have uh, written that so we started discussing the keywords 
uh, identifiers completed today we will see that what are constants strings symbols and other operators we will see uh, in today's class so so first we will see about um, uh, the constant we'll see about constants so today's topic is about constants right so constants are divided into two types that is numeric constants and character constant so first one is numeric constants so numeric constants again divided into two types so uh, numeric means so as i have discussed uh, in the previous class uh, integer constants uh, and real constants real constants so so what are integer constant 10 25 17 32 32 like that that these are whole numbers and and real constants as I told you like 13.5 and 49.75 or something so these are real constants right and coming to the uh, uh, integer constants and again in our computer it is going to be divided into different uh, categories so so again this integer constants integer constants we are going to use these values in our uh, c language so there are uh, again uh, three types of constants first one is decimal constants decimal constants second one is octal constants and third one is hexadecimal constants that means when we are hexadecimal right hexadecimal so when we want to give integers for the computer as an input or something either of the three methods we have to follow either decimal either octal or either hexadecimal so deci means what deci means 10 that means here it is base 10 so in our real life we are using the numbers what kind of numbers we are using decimal numbers or octal numbers or hecta hexadecimal numbers we are using in our daily life we are using decimal numbers it is base 10 octal means what octa means 8 that means base 8 hexadecimal deci is 10 hexa is what 6 so here it is 10 plus 6 deci is 10 hexa is 6 so it is base 16 base 16 so uh, what are the digits actually so we will use like 10 25 17 32 we will write big numbers also but the digits are only from 0 to 9 0 1 2 and so on 9 see the numbers the uh, base is 10 so highest number is 9 similarly here base is 8 so it is from base 8 means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that that's itself so total count is 8 8 digits but Uh, the highest number is seven when base is eight and base sixteen. So what we are going to use zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are ten numbers, right? Ten. And still, how many more required? We require six. That is A, B, C, D, E, F. So A represents ten, B represents eleven, C represents twelve, D represents thirteen, E represents fourteen, and F represents fifteen. Since base is sixteen, highest number is fifteen only. And instead of capital A, A to F, I can use small letters also A, B, C, D, E, F. Also, we can use. 
so ma'am can we use them definitely we can use but while you are using them uh, we should follow some rules how to use them we will i'll discuss that so using decimal number suppose if you are giving like we can give positive numbers as well as negative numbers like suppose so 123 Minus three hundred and twenty-seven or plus seventy-eight. So here we will write some signs. So either positive sign or negative sign we will write. And sometimes we won't write any sign here, but it indicates that it is a positive. So it indicates that it is positive. Uh, for negative, definitely we have to use the symbol negative. And while we are uh, writing these decimal numbers, we have to follow some rules. Suppose if I want to specify. uh 15000 uh 750 15750 uh it is invalid representation invalid representation because while you are specifying you can understand that it is 15750 but space should not be there and usually we have a habit of writing like suppose 20000 so we will write like this so it is a decimal number only uh, base 10 but here you should not use um, suppose one stands hundreds we will keep a comma here we have a habit of uh, specifying that so these are not allowed so this is also invalid and one more thing suppose if you want to specify like um, um rupees dollars suppose 10 dollars if you are specifying dollar signs or rupees sign you should not use uh, such kind of signs so why it is valid white space because of white space it is invalid and commas are not um, commas are not allowed and uh, any um, uh, uh, financial symbols like dollar any special kind of uh, symbols rupees kind of thing should not be specified so this is how we need to um, specify in a proper way these are the invalid versions of specifying De decimal numbers right suppose if you want what is a va valid one only i need to specify 15750 without white spaces and 20 20000 so that i have to specify 10 means i have to write like this i have to write like this otherwise it is invalid so these are the proper way of writing the decimal and coming to the octal so octal also numbers are from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 suppose if i have written a number like suppose uh, 40 46 if i have written so what is 46 actually whether it is a you may get a confusion like whether it is a decimal or it is octal so it is, the number will be there in octal also because here it is 0 to 9 and here octal is 0 to 7 digits are there but whether it is octal or decimal so how to identify so it is decimal only because if we want to represent octal numbers the number should be preceded with zero number should be preceded with zero that means 0 37 suppose if i want to specify 46 i need to write 0 46 i need to write and uh, like 0 551 if i want to write 0 551 so it should be preceded it should be preceded with the um 0 before this so then only the system can understand that it is a octal number this is an octal number right and how to identify uh, hexadecimal how to identify hexadecimal number see hexadecimal numbers so here hexadecimal hexadecimal means 0 to 9 i can use and a to f or uh, capital a to f Uh, i can use them and how to use them i'll write a proper way so here uh, if a number is preceded with zero it is octal if nothing is specified it is decimal and um, how to identify uh, the uh, hexadecimal numbers if the number should be preceded with zero x either i can go with small x or zero capital x also either 0x it should be preceded with cap 0 capital x or 0 small x either of the things i can follow that means suppose if i am writing 5721 suppose if i am preceding with 0x then only it can understand like 
it is a hexadecimal otherwise without writing this 0x what it will think it will think it as a, um, a normal decimal number because it is uh, 5721 or uh, it will treat it as a decimal number. Understood? And next one is, um, uh, I can also write, uh, Madam, why do we use, why do we use this hexadecimal? As I told you, like uh, in previous class, suppose x equal to 10. So that means x is the name of the variable and 10 is its value and where the 10 is stored in some memory. As I told that in computer memory, it has picked some memory and it is stored 10 in that place. So where it has stored in memory, so memory has some address. So most of the addresses are specified in hexadecimal numbers only. I will show you, I can uh, show you the addresses of X while we are executing the programs. So, so I will write some of the numbers whether those are valid or not you can tell me um, suppose whether it is a valid number or not. So, I will give the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Next, eighth one is. Okay, now you tell me whether uh, which one is valid and which one is not valid. I'll minimize and I'll tell you. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Nagalakshmi, it is a deci means 10 so that it is from uh, uh, 0 to 9 only. Okay, I'll show you. Uh, 0 to 9 only. Mm, can you please repeat once again about uh, what uh, Nagalakshmi um, ABDCDF for in hexadecimal? What I need to repeat again the decimal values? One is valid. So I'll repeat once again uh, as uh, Nagalakshmi asked. Uh, see here decimal values are from 0 to. So in our daily life we'll use decimal values. So I'll show you again uh, with a um, here. So see here this is the information I have given. Decimal means base 10. So base 10. So uh, computer can understand only zeros and ones so that it consists of only base 2. So, as I told you, like base 2 means, suppose base 2, if you have taken alphabets are what? Only rende untai, into the 0, 1. So, ye mana raya lana kuna number sala untai, 0, 1, 0, man tells kada ila rasta mani. Similarly, in daily life lo use jesa vi base 10, that is 0 to 9 a use jesa. And remaining all numbers are uh, formed from the combination of all these things. So, remaining any big number, suppose if I am given like 15,750, all the remaining are numbers we are forming with the help of these digits. Here base 8 also, octal, uh, octa means 8. So, base 8 means only it will have 8 digits. What are the digits? 0 to 7. 0 to 7, if you count, we will get 8 numbers. So, 1 to 7, 7 and 0 is 8th one. So, total we have 8. Um, uh, so, 8 will be there. And um, next one is hexadecimal. So, hexadecimal means... Hexadecimal means base six, 16. See here how many numbers are there you just count.
So, 0 to 9 is 10 and A, B, C, D, F again 5. Um, 10 plus, uh, sorry, uh, so it is uh, 1, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 total, right? Total 16, but how to represent uh, 10, 11, we don't have a specific number. So, we are using either A, B, C, D, F in lower case or in upper case. But numbers allow unta e and te chudan ikada. If we decimal numbers and month tells the daily left money uses and uh, octal and put chapano. Any number preceded than kanta mundu e mundali zero unta than octal ka consider jasundi. Lay than to consider chaidu. Put forty six e chapano. Forty six mundu zero lay the gabati the decimal lag consider jasundi. In e numbers unitiki mundu. 0 on the gabati, octal laga consider chest on the hexadecimal and elagutu bartuni ante the any number kimundu 0 x undali uh, 0 capital x kani small x kani undalan mata. Okay na? Ipudi vi e a to practice chayendi so miki put idea of chest on the white space is not valid. White space is not valid. While you are writing any number, any number you should not give white space. Even if you are giving like uh, octal goda, 0, uh, 7, um, if I am giving 235, you are giving in between 0, 2, 3, 5, will are not valid. White space is not allowed in between. Numbers are put together. Gaane White space not allowed. Then, the computer lo feed jaise tapu do manam jagar taga oka number pakkan oka te raayali. Even input wrongga gorde dis kutta di. Okay na? Octal is eight and hexadecimal is sixteen and decimal means deci means ten. Base ten na. A floating point chaptan. Floating point constants chaptan malla. Floating point constant. Inka inka integer we outu nae geda. Floating point gori jinka jappali. Integer sanne aipa yagi. Ipur ani integers. Integers types are what? Ika jodandi. Classification nela chappa mo. Okka sari. Ika pai kella le. Constants are numeric constants chaptu namo. In that numeric constants I am discussing about integers. Again integers are divided into. See here. Decimal. So now we are discussing about only integer constants. Integer lo malla two types na. Ante vi decimal constants and octal constants and hexadecimal constants na. Inka real constants or floating point constants chappale dunne chapta na. Iva ipa intera hota. Ipur chudandi. Which one is correct among all these eight? Chudandi. Try chayendi. Which one is valid? Which one is not valid? We will discuss. Lead. One is valid. In the convalid is zero x undi and it is a hexadecimal. This is what? This is hexadecimal. Hexa, I am writing just like hexa. Uh, hexa and uh, five for any, uh, all are from the valid characters. And children is 0x, f, f, f. Second one, valid 0x, f, f, f. Alphabets good bit kondi. 6, 7 not valid. And Nagalakshmi, okay. Uh, second one, second one, valid. First one valid, second one valid. Uh, third one, even 5 also valid. Huh? 5 valid. Huh? Uh, just check. Once again, you just check. Sixth one is not valid. Sixth one is not valid because of comma. It is not valid. Very good. Uh, eighth one valid or huh? invalid? Huh? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 are hexadecimal. Ah. What about 3? 3 children are going to be in chandi. What is 3? See here. Yeah. 
ఎఫ్ఏ అన్ని ఎఫ్లే రాసే టీ కాదు ఎఫ్ ఎఫ్ ఆల్ ఎఫ్సే ఎఫ్ సెకండ్ వన్ అన్ని ఎఫ్సే జీరో ఎక్స్ ఎఫ్ 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 వ్యాలిడే ఎఫ్ వ్యాలిడే కదా అండ్ థర్డ్ వన్ ఈజ్ నాట్ వ్యాలిడ్ ఎందుకు వ్యాలిడ్ కాదు ఒకసారి చూడండి నో బడీ హ్యాస్ నాట్ గివెన్ లైక్ వెరీ గుడ్ సాయి త్రీ అండ్ సిక్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ వ్యాలిడ్ త్రీ ఈజ్ నాట్ వ్యాలిడ్ బికాస్ జీరో ఎక్స్ ఓకే ఏ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో వ్యాలిడ్ క్యారెక్టర్ సిక్స్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో వ్యాలిడ్ బట్ వాట్ అబౌట్ ఎక్స్ నేనేం చెప్పాను ఓన్లీ హెక్సా డెసిమల్లో ఏముంటాయి అనుకున్నాము జీరో హెక్సా డెసిమల్లో చూడండి ఏముంటాయి ఇక్కడ ఓన్లీ జీరో వన్ టూ నైన్ అండ్ ఏబిసిడి ఎఫ్ఏ ఉంటుంది ఎక్స్ ఉండదు ఏబిసిడి ఎఫ్ఏ ఉంటుంది ఎక్స్ ఉండదు సో సో థర్డ్ వన్ ఈస్ ఇన్వ్యాలిడ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఎక్స్ చూడండి ఇక్కడ అండర్లైన్ చేస్తున్న ఎక్స్ ఇక్కడ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ కామా ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇన్వ్యాలిడ్ నెక్స్ట్ చెప్పండి ఇంకా అండ్ సాయి టోల్ దట్ సిక్స్ ఈజ్ ఇన్వ్యాలిడ్ ఓకే త్రీ ఈజ్ ఇన్వ్యాలిడ్ సుష్మా వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఆర్ హెక్సా బట్ థర్డ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ ఎట్ ఆల్ హెక్సా బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇన్ వ్యాలిడ్ అండ్ ఫోర్త్ వన్ ఈజ్ వ్యాలిడ్ బికాస్ ఏబిసి ఆర్ అలౌడ్ అండ్ వాట్ అబౌట్ ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ నా వాయిస్ స్టక్ అవుతుందా ఓకే ఒక వెయిట్ ఫర్ ఎ మినిట్ ఐ విల్ కీప్ మై ఇయర్ ఫోన్ సో దట్ ఇట్ విల్ బి అట్లా ఏమన్నా ఉంటే చెప్పండి సి ద ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ అండ్ సెవెంత్ వన్ instead of system i'll use uh, my mic so that your voice my voice will be clarity will get the clarity now i think mm. uh 5 6 7 are not valid 5 is not valid 6 is not valid 7 is not valid 8 what about 8 what happened to 8 i do agree that 5 is not valid 6 is already discussed and 7 is also not valid and 8 is valid i think so before this i don't have any um, zero is there zero it is not preceded with zero so that it is definitely decimal number decimal means 0 to 9 should be there so 6 is a valid a character 7 is valid character 9 is valid character and 0 is valid character so it is valid so what about 5 see here it is preceded with 0 when it is preceded with 0 uh, it should be from octal then definitely it is octal when it is octal only 0 to 7 are allowed but what is there 8 is present here because 8 should not be there and when here also uh, when it is preceded with 0 it is also octal but octal means 0 to 7 should be there if you observe here 8 is there and 9 is there 8 and 9 are not the alphabets of octal that's why these two are invalid right so now only 1 2 4 8 are valid and 5 6 7 also not valid i think now it is understood uh, why 5 and 7 are not valid because these are new to us 8 is uh, not a alphabet in 0 to 7 and here also only 0 to 7 so in our daily life we'll use 8 and 9 so that we will think that these are valid since it is octal since it is preceded with 0 it is octal octal means 0 to 7 maatrame undali 8 9 undayi kabatti avi valid kaadu so this is about uh integer constants so integer constants are of three types that is decimal octal and hexadecimal 
సో ఇట్లా కూడా వస్తుంది అప్పుడప్పుడు ఎక్స్ ఎఫ్ 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 సపోజ్ సి ఇది కూడా వ్యాలిడే సో ఎఫ్ 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 ఉన్నాయి సి ఉంది ఇక్కడ ఎయిట్ ఉన్నా అట్లా ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ సెవెంటీ ఎయిట్ ఆర్ నాట్ వ్యాలిడ్ ది ఆర్ డెసిమల్స్ ఓకే ఫైవ్ ఈజ్ ఆక్టర్ ఎస్ నాట్ వ్యాలిడ్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ సెవెంటీ ఎయిట్ ఈజ్ వ్యాలిడ్ ఈజ్ వ్యాలిడ్ సో సంబడి హ్యాస్ రిటర్న్ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ సెవెంటీ ఎయిట్ ఈజ్ వ్యాలిడ్ బికాస్ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ప్రిసీడెడ్ ఇక్కడ జీరో లేదు కాబట్టి ఇది ఎలా కన్సిడర్ చేసింది దిస్ విల్ బి కన్సిడర్డ్ యాజ్ డెసిమల్ ఏదర్ జీరో ఉంటే ఆక్టల్ గా కన్సిడర్ చేస్తుంది జీరో ఎక్స్ కానీ జీరో క్యాపిటల్ ఎక్స్ ఉంటే హెక్సా డెసిమల్ ఉంటుంది హెక్సా డెసిమల్ ఆక్టల్ ఉన్నప్పుడు దెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు చెక్ ఫర్ జీరో టు సెవెన్ చెక్ చేయాలి జీరో టు నైన్ అండ్ ఏ టు ఎఫ్ ఉందా లేదా చెక్ చేయాలి సో ఇలా ఉంది అంటే ఆ ఎయిట్ డెసిమల్ ఎస్ ఎస్ ఆ ఫిఫ్టీ సెవెన్ ఆక్టల్ ఎట్లా అవుతుంది చూడండి ఫిఫ్టీ సెవెన్ ఆక్టల్ అవ్వాలి అంటే ఇక్కడ జీరో ఉండాలి ఫిఫ్టీ సెవెన్ ఇందాక చెప్పాను చూడండి ఇందాక ఒక ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇచ్చాను ఇక్కడ ఈ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ బాగా వినా విని ఉండాల్సింది ఫార్టీ సిక్స్ చూడండి మీరు ఫార్టీ సిక్స్ ఇచ్చామంటే ఇలా ఇచ్చామంటే ఏ నంబర్ అంటే ఏం చెప్తారు ఆక్టలా కాదా ఎక్సా డెసిమలా హెక్సా డెసిమల్ అయితే జీరో ఎక్స్ ఉండాలి జీరో ఎక్స్ లేదు కాబట్టి హెక్సా డెసిమల్ కాదు ముందు జీరో ఉంటే ఆక్టల్ అయి ఉండాలి జీరో లేదు కాబట్టి డెఫినెట్ గా ఇది డెసిమల్ సిమిలర్లీ మీరు ఇప్పుడు రాసిన వెరీ నైస్ ఆన్సర్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ రిటర్న్ సిహియర్ ఫైవ్ ఉంది అంటే ఏంటి దీనికి ముందు జీరో లేదు కాబట్టి ఇది డెసిమల్ అండ్ సెవెన్ ఉంది కాబట్టి ఓన్లీ సెవెన్ ఉంది కాబట్టి డెసిమల్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్టీ సెవెన్ ఒట్టి ఫిఫ్టీ సెవెన్ ఉంటే కూడా డెసిమలే సో ఫిఫ్టీ సెవెన్ ఆక్టల్ గా కన్సిడర్ చేయాలి అంటే కంపల్సరీగా దీని ముందు జీరో పెట్టాలి దట్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ప్రిసీడెడ్ విత్ జీరో అండ్ ఎయిట్ ఎయిట్ ఉంది అంటే ఇది డెసిమలే ఎయిట్ నేను హెక్సా డెసిమల్ గా కన్సిడర్ చేయాలి అంటే జీరో ఎక్స్ ఉండాలి అసలు ఎయిట్ మనకు ఆక్టల్ లో ఉండదు okay now 57 is not octal 57 is decimal if i have given 057 then it is octal okay now it is understood to you what is uh, 57 what is 057 okay can i go for the next constant floating point constant or real constant is it clear now can i go for the uh, floating point constant with the my voice is clear shall we go for the next uh, uh, floating point constant please type in the chat
yes we will go for the next uh, concept uh, that is um, uh, suppose if you are not able to get anything like uh, if anything is struck or something you can uh, type in the chat or uh, you can put a message to me uh, so that i can understand that yes uh, so next one is um, uh, uh, real constants so now we have seen only integer constants integer constants are three types and now we are going to discuss about real constants now we are going to discuss about real constants so what are real constants we will see so now i am going to write the real constants so real constants can be represented in two ways so decimal notation and scientific notation scientific notation or exponential notation scientific notation or exponential notation so usually uh, what how do we write the 2.326 or something so all these are comes under decimal notation so these two are the example for decimal notation scientific notation is very easy one see here same as of um, uh, 60 653 into 10 power 3 10 power minus 3 and it is same as of 72.3 6 can also be written as 0 0.72 326 into 10 power 2 so these two are equal this is equal to this one and this is equal to this one so instead of writing 653 e minus 3 e minus 3 means it indicates that 10 power minus 3 so some number into 10 power minus 3 so that is the representation so instead of representing like this we can also represent like this this is called as a scientific notation or exponential notation so here e means what into 10 power so whatever the number we have written here that is power so see here so 0 0.72326 e that means what it is nothing but this one into 10 power 2 it is which is same as of the previous one understood so this is the scientific notation this is the scientific notation i will give you some numbers see here uh, suppose um, i have 1.2 i have 1.2 i want to represent this uh, this is what decimal uh, notation so point is there so decimal notation if i want to write this in scientific notation or exponential notation how can i write so i can write one uh, suppose one two e power minus one e power minus one because 1.2 can also expressed as 1 2 into 10 power minus 1 I can write right so similarly instead of writing this minus 1 what you are writing this 10 is replaced with e minus 1 so this is the scientific notation whether you understood madam can we give uh, the, like this uh, values while I am writing definitely without having any hesitation doubt we can write the values scientific notation understood at the main amma what is scientific notation and instead of writing small e you can use capital e also i'll write some of the examples see here 3.18 e 3 inka stuck avutundamma ippudu nenu idu pettukunnane mic pettukunnanu Okasari, Okasari, name Mulla, refresh chest on a screen.
just I'll refresh my screen so that uh, don't go away. Uh, sorry for the disturbance uh, that uh, 